Welcome to Capital OTB's Daily Report, brought to you by CapitalOTBBet.com. Swing by the website, CapitalOTB.com, for more information on signing up for a Capital OTB Bet account. Do it now. Take advantage of the sign-up bonus. Check out the website again, CapitalOTB.com, for more information. And once again, welcome to the Daily Report. This is the Thursday, May 27th edition. I'm Seth Merrill. Thanks for joining us. As always, we kick off with a trivia question coming up this weekend at Churchill Downs. The Matt win is but one of many stakes on the Saturday card. And let's go back and tie in a Matt win winner from recent years into our trivia question. What horse won the Matt win in 2016 and went on to win the Breeders' Cup Classic the following year? So we're going back a few years. What horse won the 2016 Matt win stakes and then won the Breeders' Cup Classic in 2017 we'll have the answer at the end of the program right now let's get underway for thursday may 27th here's the show helium now strikes to the lead along the rail that's candy man rocket racing along second where on the outside hidden stash is absolutely in full stride down to the wire, it's Hidden Stash and Raphael Bayerano along the rail. Digging back, gamely is Helium. Looks like we're down to two. Helium repels the challenge. It's Helium in a huge effort. Turns away the challenge of Hidden Stash. That was Helium winning the Tampa Bay Derby back on March 6th in fine fashion and only his third career start seasonal debut. Followed that up in the Kentucky Derby, ran eighth in the field of 19. A little bit of a disappointing effort, but again, it was only his fourth career start at that point. Comes back Saturday in the Matt Wynn down at Churchill Downs, as I noted earlier. One of but a number of really nice stakes on the card on Saturday. The Matt Wynn featuring Helium, but also out of the Kentucky Derby, Obesos. In the Kentucky Derby, Obesos ran an okay fifth in the field of 19. Prior to that, third in the Louisiana Derby. Pretty good third behind Hot Rod Charlie and Midnight Bourbon. So be a fun uh, addition of the Matt Wynn with the two horses coming out of the uh, Kentucky Derby. I kind of like Folsom coming out of the Oaklawn on May 1st at Oaklawn Park. Uh, I also think game day play might be a little bit interesting coming out of that same Oaklawn race. So fun addition of the Matt Wynn on Saturday down at Churchill. Also on the card on Saturday, the Shawnee, an ungraded stake for Philly and Mayers. Four-year-olds and up uh, on Voutant for Kenny McPeak will be the horse worth watching in that one coming out of the second last time in the La Troyenne. She's finished behind She Dares the Devil in a couple of starts so far this year, but moving out of grade one company last time into this ungraded stake on Saturday on Voutant, probably the one to beat in that Shawnee. Again, one of but a number of really nice stakes coming up Saturday at Churchill Downs. We'll have more conversation on the podcast uh, tomorrow and on the weekend uh, on the morning programming as well regarding that uh, nice card at Churchill Downs coming up on Saturday, but coming up on Thursday, Capital OTB TV, Capital OTB Bet.com, we will have some Gulfstream Indiana Grand Churchill. They'll kick off at 5 o'clock with a twilight program. Charlestown, Yonkers also in the agenda, on the agenda for uh, Thursday afternoon and evening. A lot of great racing action coming up. Let me toss one out on uh, Thursday evening at Churchill Downs. I thought there was a horse in the fifth race that could be a little bit intriguing. It's a maiden $75,000 claimer. They'll travel a mile. Number six is Road Bible. Started a couple of times already for Steve Asmussen in maiden special company. I think this horse that they paid a lot of money for at auction may just be moving down to what's the proper level. The two maiden special starts weren't good enough to jump on board with a lot of confidence when you're comparing the buyer numbers to the other runners in this field but again i'm not going to be shocked in the third career start and moving into the claiming ranks particularly given the first two starts of the career for road bible the company that was faced i think the first two for this one were salty made in special events so now moves not just down the claiming down the class ladder into a claimer but I think probably finds significantly lesser in here as compared to uh, what he's faced 
in the first couple of starts of the career. So at 4-1 to one on the morning line, race number five Thursday evening at Churchill Downs. I think the six road Bible, very interesting. That takes you through what's coming up on Thursday. Let me line you up with the promos and events that are coming up over the next few days via Capital OTB. Don't forget, every Churchill Downs Racing Day, there's a 3% Churchill Downs bonus. There are some rules and restrictions. Check the website for more information there, capitalotb.com. Friday, the bounty bet returns with over $1,600 up for grabs. All you have to do to take your shot at all or part of that is play the late pick five on Friday at Belmont. Play it with your Capital OTB bet account and get a shot at that bounty with the bounty bet promotion on Friday. Saturday, there's a Naira pick four and a match bet promotion at the Clubhouse Racebook, 711 Central Avenue in Albany. Same location for the Play the Board Handicapping Contest on Sunday. Again, 711 Central Avenue in Albany. All right, that brings us back around to our trivia question. Once again, in 2016, what horse won the Matt win and then went on the following year to win the Breeders' Cup Classic? Lock in your answer because here is the stretch run of that 2016 Matt Wynn Stakes. Here's the eighth pole. Gunrunners shaken up on that lead. Gunrunners running away from Gray Sky and Texas Chrome and everybody else. There's a 16th to go, and it's perfect execution by Gunrunner. Winning the Matt Wynn for fun by five in the end. Gray Sky second, Texas Chrome third. Virtual Machine was fourth. That's right. It was the very talented Gunrunner getting it done in 2016 to win the Matt Wynn Stakes. The next year went on to win the Breeders' Cup Classic and throughout the career uh, also won the Risen Star at the fairgrounds, won the Louisiana Derby, uh, went on to win the Clark Handicap at Churchill, the Razorback at Oaklawn, the Stephen Foster at Churchill, the Whitney right in our neck of the woods at Saratoga, the Woodward also at Saratoga, and after he won the Breeders' Cup, he came back for one final start to win the 2018 Pegasus. So it was a brilliant career for Gunrunner. 12 wins and 19 starts, over $15 million in earnings. Not bad because he also had a placing in the Dubai World Cup uh, to add to those totals. So nice career for Gunrunner, but he was the 2016 winner of the Matt Wynn. That'll wrap it up for this edition of the Daily Report brought to you by CapitalOTBBet.com. The Thursday, May 27th edition. We're here every Monday through Friday via the Capital OTB social media channels. You can check us out coming up about 10 a.m. Uh, on social media, Capital OTB social media every Monday through Friday. That means we have one more edition left this week. We hope you tune in. We appreciate your tuning in today. As always, spread the word. And again, we'll see you tomorrow. Good luck this afternoon.